Mario, this team continues to believe in oneself, and you can understand why. I know you didn't score the game winner, but this is a heck of a win for your ball club. It's not exactly conventional, but who cares? No, a win's a win. Um, you know, bullpen once again came in and uh, grinded out for us. Um, you know, Mac did a great job behind the plate. You know, some tough innings there, so. You know, we were able to keep the runs off and get that in, run the last inning. What has gotten into this bullpen, do you think, during this series? Uh, they're getting a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I mean, they, that's what they can do. Um, you know, we've been leaning on them hard this year, and you know, like I said yesterday, hopefully we can get them some, uh, some time off. Second start at first base, and it looks very comfortable, very natural to you. How, I know you were working with Matt Martin earlier. Um, how do you make that adjustment? Uh, you know, I was just trying not to uh, let anything get by me. You know, if it was ground ball to me, I was just going to try and block it. Um, you know, uh, do my part best I can. What's a key for a guy like Cameron Mabin when he's kind of edging off third base? You got to be alert. You got two down. You got a clutch hitter at the plate in Kinsler. How do you make sure you know when to go there? Yeah, I mean, that was a great read. Um, you know, you're not sure, especially on that side. You don't, not sure how far it got away from the catcher. Um, you know, but Cam's a smart base runner. Been doing it for years and uh, got us that big win. Four in a row. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Jared Salto Lamaki and the Tigers continue to press on, especially here at home. This crowd makes a big difference. They continue to roll, and now they welcome in Cleveland for a big series this weekend. Back to you.